In a move which further escalates tension in Ukraine, the Russian president appeared in a meeting with the leaders of the two separatist regions of Donetsk and Luhansk, where he signed a decree recognizing the two regions as independent. Following that, in a televised speech, Putin made an announcement to the nation. I want to say it clearly and directly. In the current situation, when our proposals for an equal dialogue on matters of principle are in fact left unanswered by the United States and NATO, when the level of threats to our country is increasing dramatically, Russia has every right to take countermeasures to ensure its own security. A few hours later, the Russian president instructed the defense ministry to send troops into the territories for what the Kremlin called the function of peacekeeping. Putin's moves have intensified fears among Western nations about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. United States of America and other partners, and of course Ukraine, were for quite a long period of time were saying that to provoke the conflict, the force-like operations will be will be organized by Russia Federation. And this case is exactly the example of such a false flag operation. In Kiev, the Ukrainian capital, residents also received the news with fear that their country could be invaded at any time. I think it destroy uh, Minsk uh, relationships, um, what he was talking about. And um, that's crazy because uh, the diplomatic here is over. And, um, what I'm gonna say that's crazy because we don't want a war. I'm very shocked because I have a lot of family members in eastern Ukraine. I'm actually from Donetsk. It's my eighth year living in Kiev. So this is the scariest news after eight years. Now, the Western countries are doubling their efforts to find any possible breakthrough to the crisis, a crisis which threatens the security of Europe and will certainly have an impact on the entire world.